Hey students, welcome to EE Awesome. I'm Rudi Schlaff, a professor at the Electrical Engineering Department at USF. In this video I want to show you how to use a multimeter to measure resistors and diodes. Let's do it! In the first two parts of this series about making measurements with the multimeter I discussed voltage measurements. This is when you put the selector over to this range and current measurements. That's when you put the selector over to this range. In this video I discuss um, resistance measurements and how to characterize a diode. So these are the measurement ranges down here. So the first thing I want to do is measure a resistor. And so I have here a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And so for that we switch the multimeter here to the 2000 ohm range and I connect it here. So I'm using again the alligator clips and the uh, jumper wires to make the connections. That's a good idea because if you touch the leads here of the uh, resistor that you measure, if it's a larger resistor then you actually influence the measurement by the current that goes through your body while you hold the probes to the resistor. So it's a good idea to separate yourself from the measurement. And of course since we have the breadboard uh, that's an easy way to do it here with these jumper wires. And so you see here that the multimeter now shows us 997. So this is on the 2000 ohm range. So we are pretty close to 1 kilo ohm what this resistor uh, should be. So if I would have switched it to the 20 kilo ohm resistor, then we would get a reading here of 0 0.99. And this is now of course in kilo ohm units, right? So you need to pay attention to the range that you set it to in order to interpret the, the reading on the display here properly. So we leave it now in the 20 kilo ohm range and I put in the 10 kilo ohm resistor. And so you see here we get approximately 10 kilo ohm. Now if I had it left, had left it in the 2000 range, you would see now I would get I, which is out of range. Right, so you need to pay a little bit of attention here with regard to matching the range and the resistor that you're measuring. And of course, if you don't know what the resistor is, you simply play with these ranges until you get a uh, reading. Right, we could also have had it here in the 200 kilo ohm um, uh, range and we would still get a, a, a proper measurement, but the accuracy now is uh, uh, less, right? Because here in this range, it expects a much larger resistor. So it's always good to be as close as possible, but a little bit higher than the actual value that we want to measure. Well, this is about uh, resistance measurements. So let's see what happens if I put a diode here. A diode, as you probably know, is a polar device and a diode can pass current only in one direction. So it always has a positive and a negative end and there needs to be a way to tell us which one is which. With light emitting diodes you know already we have the longer lead that is the positive connector usually and the shorter lead is the uh, a negative one but here with a standard silicone diode like this one that comes with the Arduino kit we don't have that. Both leads are the same length and so on such uh, diodes if one looks at the at the body of the diode you typically see a ring somewhere and this ring is on the negative side of the diode. So here we have a black body and a silvery ring around it. Okay so let's put the negative end to the uh, COM to the black one and the positive end to the red one. And so we see here we get nothing. Um, and that is no surprise because the resistance measurement range assumes that we actually put a resistor in there. So we go over here to the diode measurement range where the diode symbol is. And here now we get a reading and this reading is 568. So what does this mean? Does it mean it has 568 ohm resistance at this point? No. This here is what they call the turn on voltage of the diode. And so you would also see now if we turn the diode around, then we get again the one that means there is uh, we are out of range so it cannot measure anything. This means that the diode is in the wrong polarity, that it is reverse, uh, re reversely biased and this means that no current is flowing through it and so the measurement cannot uh, be done by the multimeter. 
So let's turn it around again into forward direction. And so here we get our turn on voltage. So when the polarity is right and the voltage is higher than, than this voltage, 566 uh, millivolts, then a significant current starts to flow in the diode. That means the diode is turned on. And so this is why this is called the turn on voltage. Okay, so if you would put a germanium diode in here, you would get a reading that's maybe 300 millivolts. If you put a silicon diode like this one in here, you get a reading that is at um, about 600 uh, millivolts. Okay, so one more thing before I come to the end of this video. The question is, of course, that you may have, how does this multimeter measure all this that we just talked about? Well, it does that by applying a voltage to the device and then measuring the current. And really what it does is it makes a voltage divider formed from this device and a resistor that is inside the multimeter. And then it measures the voltage across this resistor. You know that already how this works from the, from the voltage and current measurement uh, videos uh, that I uh, uh, posted. And so by measuring the voltage across this internal resistor, it can uh, essentially tell how big the current is relative to the applied voltage. And so this allows it to calculate the resistance or it allows us to give us the turn on voltage of this, of this uh, diode. So to demonstrate that we're actually applying a voltage to the uh, uh, device under test here in these measurement modes, uh, I can here hook up the light emitting diode and indeed it lights up. So this means that here we have about two volts applied to this, to this diode. Now what you also see is that in this diode measurement uh, range that I just set it to, we get an overload here if I put in the diode. And this means that these multimeters are not equipped to uh, characterize light emitting diodes. They only can do regular um, rectifying diodes, silicon or germanium diodes. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. But of course, you can use this just uh, to, to check whether a light emitting diode works by simply hooking it up. And of course, if you turn this diode around and connect it in reverse direction, there is uh, no current flowing. So this is really a good test whether a light emitting diode or a regular diode is in working condition. Uh, if you get this behavior, if it lights up or if you get a reading in one orientation and not in the other. Well, this is all I wanted to say in this video. Now you know how to measure resistances and how to check on diodes. Um, there are many more videos like this on eeawesome.com. I hope you enjoyed this one. Check out the other ones. Thanks for watching.